welcome back to the channel. It's me, Alana, and we're going to be watching the last episode of Demon Slayer. This is the last one for the entertainment arc, and we already know how the last or well, the previous episode went down. We are left with our jaws on the ground. Um, I honestly don't even think Tengen is alive. He was the one that's closest to Yutaro's body when they had it like exploded into those um those blood slash attacks so i uh, right now he's already got his eye cut he's missing a hand um and he was the closest one to the proximity of the explosion so i am going in with him being dead because i don't know how he could be alive after that especially with um our boy tanjiro there and tanjiro not having you know any more strength to even move i just feel as if tengen is just going to throw himself uh to 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 protect tanjiro after he yelled out his name telling him to get up kamado is not ever that's not over at all so i feel like he's going to step in which when him when he said say ah, when he said his name <laughs> i feel as if that was a sign of him respecting kamado uh, or Tanjiro, whatever name you guys want to call him. Uh, to, 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 for all the stuff that he's done, Tanjiro put up a fight, bro. He fought. Like, he fought longer than I expected him to fight. He was, his fingers was broke. He already had his hand wrapped around the sword, like, tied around his sword. Freaking even Zimitsu and Inosuke, like, those boys have came such a, like, a long way. Like a long way and I'm super proud of them, but now I'm scared for them in the same instance because Tanjiro is beat up real bad, broken fingers, freaking hand, not no energy. And then don't forget, he was freaking stabbed right here. Poisoned! Poisoned! I don't know how he's doing this, but also in the last uh, previous episode, we had him transform and we saw his hair go more of a brighter red we saw this the scar on his face turn more into like a flame itself as well so we see that he has this power somewhere and he just has to find out how he can ignite it um and hopefully it doesn't do that much damage to his body when he uses it but you guys i'm gonna stop talking because i really feel as though this is going to be a really really dope episode to end off um, the season. So without further ado, let's just go ahead and jump on into the last episode of the entertainment arc. Let's go. <laughs> Look at my boys. Look at the boys. Ah. Yes. Look how far they came, bro. Like siblings heads. Just looking at each other. Their last moments. He saw it. He saw it. The way it blasted them. There's no way Tengen is alive. There's no way he's alive. Look at those slashes, bro. No way. <gasps> Nezuko! She woke up! Oh my god, I wasn't, I'm telling you right now, I didn't even count Nezuko in! I didn't! Man, siblings be having each other's back, bro. Where's Tengen? Where's Inosuke? Where's Amitsu? I need to know. She said, but I'm here. He has no strength to even move. Makes sense. Hold on, that is facts. That's the Ditsu. Oh, look at Chibi! Look at Chibi Nezuko holding her big brother. Oh my gosh. Who did this to me? <laughs> Hell no. I swear to goodness if something happens. <laughs> I'm gonna be pissed off. 
Where is Shinobu? Oh my gosh, the poison is in his body. But how? How is who how is his body able to burn off the poison? Freaking Nezuko has healing regenerative powers. It's this girl here must protect Nezuko. How? Nezuko can do it! Nezuko can do it! I'm never gonna pray to you again. <laughs> she is she is so darn loud. Oh <laughs> No, Nezuko, where's Nezuko? He's not gonna die now. Thank you. <laughs> He's not dead. <laughs> Yo, Nezuko is the key to everything. I swear I thought Tay was gonna die. <laughs> oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Oh, but how is he not bleeding here? Wow. Oh, okay, she was right. I forgot he has to send that to her. Uh, like, Tamayo? Look at his fingers, bro. Ah. Nezuko is best sister. Are they arguing with each other? Are they having a moment? Damn. They're arguing right before they die. No, she ain't talking to her brother like that. Wow. You're useless. Yo, she's mean. She is mean. Exactly. Dang. This is kind of super sad. Tanjiro, what are you doing? What would have bit Tanjiro's hand? They should have each other. Just say sorry. Wow, I have, I'm trying to like really hold back my tears. He had to watch his little sister die. Ume. Her name is Ume. What the heck? She was diseased. Wow. Why would she do that? Why are they throwing rocks? It's not his fault. Wow. So he had those scars even before he was a demon. Oh my gosh.
前は俺の自慢だったな年はもいかない頃から大人が立ち退くほど綺麗な強くなった自分が喧嘩に強いと気づいて取り立ての仕事を始めた I was a debt collector. 自分の醜さが誇らしくなる He had to find a way. お前のように美しい妹がいることは、おから俺たちの人生は、いい方へ加速して回っていくような気がした。胸が十三になるまでは。What is she do? She stabbed him? What is he? What, why is she doing that? 服として胸は縛り上げられ。So she died first. She wasn't all the way dead when he found her. Oh, my. Gosh, Money. You have to kind of respect Yutaro. It's not his fault the way he turned out. Bruh! That guy deserved it. And that lady, too. That is so sad. Huh? Upper six. That was a former upper six. Watch Tanjiro be there. She chose the path of light instead of darkness. All the maybes. He probably takes that to heart with him being her big brother. Wow. He wish he would have protected her better. You know, it's so crazy how you are brought up really determines or it really shapes you. It doesn't determine, but it shapes you. Do you want to try now? It's not because of you. Is he gonna tell her how he really feels? And him protecting her as best as he <laughs> Damn, showing feelings, bro. Wow, she said, if you're gonna. She's going to walk to the fire with her brother. Oh my gosh.
they allowed them to have that moment together but to make peace oh you can see their color is green and like that pinkish color i can cry baby i was trying so hard not to cry She said, yeah. Yo, what is Muzan going to say? And where was the other demon? That's the, the reptile one, right? Why are they looking at him like that? Yeah. <laughs> He's hurt. Lowly upper six. Lowly upper six. You ain't your, it ain't your job to do that. No. 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 He's talking about Tanjiro. <laughs> He's rather flashy. Yep. Ho. I don't forget what you did to him either. You was it Sanemi or something like that? Is he poisoned too? Do you think Nezuko could help him? Summon Tanjiro? He's an omen. Omens are bad. On my family. Akaza. When you are dead. Oh, he's able to. <laughs> I would be her. I would be her. I'll be a lost cause after all this mess. Nobody died, guys. I really thought somebody was dead. Sinisu. Mm. Must pre uh, protect Nezuko. She's the key. That's it. I swear I thought they said it would be a 45-minute episode. It has not been thir uh, 45 minutes. All right, you guys. So I think I was under the impression of it post being 45 minutes long, and it's not. It was just a little bit over 30, and I know. Well, I guess when you think about it in a way, like, there's no commercials. So if it's 30-something minutes, technically it's an additional 10 um, minutes of footage, maybe. So maybe that's how they evened it out. I don't know. But still, uh, I was expecting it to be a little bit longer. I wanted to see a little bit more, especially after seeing the previous Upper Six and seeing how Muza had called the, the remainder of the upper um, level demons to the infinity castle i was expecting or hoping to see how that was going to be to reunite them because i'm wondering is that the former upper six demon dead or is he has he moved up that is something that i want to know did did you know Obviously, once he had the ability to give Gyutaro and um, Ume her uh, their, some blood to become demons, obviously he was strong enough, or he was Muzan trusts him enough to be able to do that. Because you know, I don't I don't think everybody had the authority to to share their blood. I don't think, or do they have the authority to start with? I gotta I forget what did Rui say. I have to go back and um, see exactly what was said about that. But even still, it's like he was strong enough. If he was able to do that, he was strong enough. He was strong. And now I'm wondering who the remainder top level ones are. Who is going to fill that place? Because, you know, the lower 
uh, Kizuki demons. I don't think Muzan liked them too much. You know what I mean? <laughs> like, so who is going to fill that one? And who is actually going to be? I know Tangen had mentioned Tanjiro, but Tanjiro right now, he's even though he's strong, he's still got a while to go before he become a Hashira. So we have two vacant spots. We have Rengoku's spot open, and we have Tengen now that he's retiring. Who are going to be able to fill those those two spots? I mean, we have what a whole bunch of demon slayers, but who is strong enough? Who is able, who's reliable enough to take those spots? I wonder if there's going to be like some other guys that we meet um, that's filling those those positions, oh, excuse me, or or we just going to have to wait for Tanjiro's Mitori Nosuke to become a lot stronger to then take on the position as a Hashida. And then also with the master being, it like, okay, you know how like the purple things are all over his face? It reminded me of Tengen. Um, getting poisoned and you know how Nezuko went and she was able to dispel the poison I wonder would she if since she has this ability would she be able to dispel the master's poison or if it's poison at all I don't know when I see I just think of Yutaro's poison and then Tengen's body and then she touching them and it all going away like that's what I'm thinking and how I'm feeling and he said that Kibitsu Muzan or Kibitsuji had dismantled his family somehow i want to know the backstory about that as well like what did, i mean i already know if his family's at the top of the demon slayer hierarchy i wonder exactly transpired to where muzan came and probably what swept clean house maybe i don't know y'all but this was a, a kind of touching episode with Yutaro and then his sister and knowing their backstory knowing where they came from how or yeah how they were born or where they were brought up really shaped them into becoming who they are especially Yukato with him not being the most prettiest thing walking but even still people are just so so mean they're so mean in how they treated him and then it's like he was the only thing or person that his sister had and she loved him because how could you not love somebody who is going to war for you, trying to protect you, everything in their power to make your life as best as it as they can in this terrible living conditions, just all that. And he was he was young himself, y'all. Trying to be a grown up, learning his way and then trying to teach his sister how to live properly. He's just teaching her from all the experiences that he had. And that's very sad cuz even though this is like an anime or whatever, there are a lot of stories and situations where people really have to do this in today's world. And that sucks. And then that little moment where they had, where they were about to, you know, to, to either go their separate ways and how his sister basically threw herself on him and was like, we're together forever. You said that and that's the promise. And that's, she went through fire. I ain't gonna cry. I ain't gonna cry. I'm doing cry. Ugh. But yes, you guys, thank you for all. Oh, thank you for watching this reaction with me. And I'll catch you guys next season for Demon Slayer. <laughs> Peace out. <laughs>